Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 7. Today we're going to be talking about Episode 9. This is my review slash breakdown for the episode. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so this episode was really good. I really, really enjoyed it. I was super engaged throughout the whole thing. I liked the return of most of the other forces. And, you know, what happened with Speed Force Nora was actually pretty scary at the start. Like, she is very intimidating. And then you have the nightmare stuff with Iris later in the episode. So there was a lot of great stuff throughout the whole thing. So let me know, obviously, what do you think about this episode? Tell me in the comments below. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this. So we're going to go through it chronologically. At the start of the episode, we have the aftermath of Fuerza's death at the hands of Speed Force Nora and so Speed Force Nora is still here. Barry shouts at her because Barry is extremely annoyed and she is like, we did this together. We killed them together in order to get rid of them because that's what has to happen. Otherwise, these monsters are going to kill everyone. And so apparently, according to this episode, Barry has created all of the forces and he willed them into existence along with Iris at the start of this season. That's where you had the lightning coming out and we actually went back to that specific point because we did time travel in this episode, which we'll get to in just a bit, but they never existed before. So this confirms some of our theories. So we've been thinking what happens if the forces were subdued by the speed force like millennia ago and they had just like never manifested since then. However, this episode confirmed that they never existed in the first place and it was Barry and Iris that created them just earlier this season. So, great to have confirmation and I thought that was a neat twist. And so, deep down, apparently, Iris can feel a connection with Barry and there is a connection with all of the other forces and you can see from this episode, Speed Force Nora is extremely mad at Iris specifically because she is Barry's lightning rod. And so Barry has no other choice but to kill the other forces according to Nora and Nora gets mad and screams at Barry. She is completely furious and she is losing it basically throughout this whole first scene. She does reappear later in the episode but that's right at the end and we have a confrontation between her and Dion who returns in this episode who is awesome. Might I say I think he is probably my favourite addition this season in terms of the forces I love him and I love the kind of playful nature like the music that comes with it and the kind of humor along with Chester and Cisco he feels humane he feels actually kind of cool like I kind of like him and with the new way that they're going about these forces humanizing them I think that's great okay so let's move on to the next thing Camilla returns in this episode and it's revealed that she wants to go to San Francisco because of her Eva photos. Apparently she's got like an exhibition or something. I don't remember exactly. However, she is finally back. We haven't seen her since the start of the season once she got out of the Mirrorverse. That's because, I mean, she's just not around much. She is a guest star on the show. She isn't a regular. And I knew this was setting up something. And by the end of the episode, we can talk about this right now. They set up that Camilla and Cisco both want to move to San Francisco. So Cisco has his own reasons, which I'm not like 100% certain on because I don't specifically remember. However, the big thing here is Cisco wants to leave Central City and he's going to have to tell Team Flash. And this goes along with what we've been told recently that Cisco is going to appear in the finale. He's going to appear in multiple episodes this season still because he is a series regular after all. However, he is going to be leaving after the season and this is definitely setting up for that. I reckon Camilla is probably going to go off first and then he's going to join her after in San Francisco. And so this is just confirming their plans. Doesn't mean it's going to happen right now. However, it's going to happen at some point soon. Barry in this episode is completely against what Iris proposes at the start when they talk about like how Barry wants to erase all of the forces by going back in the past, time traveling, and so Barry is very consistent on doing this throughout the whole episode. Cisco is more aligned with Iris, and Wells just trusts Barry, and Chester is kind of like in the middle, 
and so you have this big kind of two-sided way that you've got this episode with like these two different agendas going on and like their mindsets are very separate Iris and Barry and so they split off in their separate directions and Iris it turns out is a literal lightning rod because she has bits of the forces inside her and Iris and Barry both had that because they created the forces and so that's what Camilla's camera is and this is like just you know kind of plot device that Cisco did and like the show gave her that so that they could detect where Nora was but that actually ended up finding Psyche so that was like the whole big thing with Iris's storyline and so smart slash evil Barry apparently made an enhancement to the tachyon device which is very helpful and so Barry time travels to Starling City Beach which is obviously a reference to Arrow, Starling City, back in 2000 before it was named Star City. And I don't think I remember the beach. Like, that's cool that they have a beach. This is where Timeless Wells is situated. So he goes there, he asks for Timeless Wells' help. And so Wells returns, which is super exciting because we haven't seen him since the start of the season. This could possibly be the final time he shows up because of the recent announcement that Tom Cavanaugh is officially leaving the show and we don't know if he's going to show up again this season. However, I have a sneaking suspicion maybe he has like a tiny cameo, but maybe that is me being too optimistic. Anyway, so Wells is back and he thinks he can do this, what Barry wants, go back in time without changing the timeline, without there being any too much of a big effect and he could go to that night because he was there in the first place and so he figures this all out and suddenly out of nowhere inside star labs dion shows up and you're like what the hell is going on and you kind of click that oh maybe he's been called here somehow by his connection which they've set up in this episode which turns out to be true and so chester and cisco they greet him they're like yo dion and they had this great relationship that they had in that past episode I really love them together and so Dion and Barry meet. Barry explains to Dion as he uses his powers to slow down time what his plan is and Dion is completely against this. He rejects his offer slash ideas and that's when Dion says time to bounce and he goes away. Anyway, I just have to say Dion is so cool and I completely laughed out loud when he said to Wells, who's that egghead? I burst out laughing. Not gonna lie, let me know what was your reaction to that in the comments below. Anyway, so Dion messed up the Tachyon device during that time. However, Chester was a hero and he did save a part, so they're able to actually use the device. So Barry and Wells are impressed. Cisco believes that Dion is right about this and also Iris as well, because they are very much so aligning with going against what Barry is trying to do in this episode. And so, you know, they, however Barry tries to drill it into his head, that Nora is literally on the hunt for them. She is going to kill them, no matter what. And so this leads on to Barry and Joe having a sort of moral talk about what Barry is going to do. And he talks about when Wally first showed up and the kind of ups and downs of their relationship at the start of like him being there too much, him not being there enough, and then finding a balance between that and what he's become today. And so he never stopped trying and he compares the forces to children. So the whole big thing that I think some people are going to be against but some people are going to like in this episode is that Barry and Iris are referred to as the forces parents. And so that's why the next two episodes, the two part episode, is going to be titled Family Matters because they are supposedly like a family now. Okay, so Iris, Camilla and Allegra they go to Barry's childhood home, see an old car. First you're like, is Dion here? Not completely sure as to why that was. However, the house looks like a horror house now. It looks very different, but that is because Psych returns. He's inside here and he's like, hi mom. And I'm like, weird. But anyway, so he gets into Iris's mind. He gets into Camilla and Allegra's minds. But specifically to do with Iris, her greatest fear is currently Speed Force Nora, and you get to see inside Iris's mind, but Iris is able to overcome it because they have that connection, and I thought that was a neat twist to the episode, and like I said, Speed Force Nora is very scary right now. And so it's just after this point, kind of paralleling, Barry and Wells go back to that night that they've been talking about all episode, and so they are down there, they see iris do her thing and then they go to the roof 
and they try and take down the forces by uncreating them and it looks awesome and it was honestly quite beautiful just after the forces are being attacked and like kind of fading from existence in present day you go back and you see the sky lighting up with all of the different colors of the forces and the CGI number one is great it really really worked and it was so colorful and nice but the impact of the scene was really there and I really loved it and I was kind of taken aback by this because I wasn't expecting something as kind of nice and beautiful as this. Okay, so the forces, they are fine, they are alive as Barry is inspired to let them live. He smashes the device. At one point also I must mention he goes inside the speed force lightning and it looks awesome. Obviously it's a lot of power and he you know, destroys the forces at first and they do have that moment where they are being erased in the future. But then, you know, as they look upon this, and this is quite a decently long scene compared to a lot of the scenes in this episode, Barry is able to contemplate by looking up in the sky and seeing the impact of all of this, what is truly right. And so he makes his decision and that's where he smashes the device. And so just after this, they time travel back to the future without any real big timeline changes apart from one slight change but I don't think that really is a timeline change, we'll get to that in a minute. But Barry and Iris reunite and they both think each other was right so like Iris was thinking what Barry was gonna do would be right because like you know they would save them, they wouldn't be killed by Nora but Barry thinks the opposite. He agrees with what Iris was saying earlier and how like they deserve to kind of live if they want to live and they're just going to have to protect them if they can and that's the way that they're going to have to move this forward. So it was kind of nice seeing them reuniting and, and understanding each other. So in this scene there was actually a reference to the future speedsters and some of them are family is a quote from that scene and I was like hmm. Okay, so you're talking about the forces. Obviously, they are regarded as family now. However, they said future speedsters and these other forces aren't speedsters. So I've got a feeling this was a direct reference to what is going to be coming. Because as we all know, as you've seen from my last few videos, you can click right here. If you haven't checked out my Bas Allen video, we know that he is returning. We've seen our first look on the set. Nora is also returning, aka XS. And so the future speed design was definitely a reference to that. Okay, so apparently Alexa set up and she was alive for a second. And so Barry and Iris realized, oh, we can revive the strength force. And this is because the forces have been revived and somehow she is able to come back to life. I'm not exactly 100% sure on that. However, it was a moment where I was like, what? Like, Oh, she's alive? I wasn't expecting that, so that was kind of a nice surprise. They had this moment, Baron and Ice touch hands, and their lightning courses throughout Alexa's body, and she is alive, and she's like, why is everyone looking at me? And so this is going to continue into the next episode and the episode after, where Team Flash is going to be working with the forces against the Speed Force. Alright, so Timeless Wells, he says his goodbye. He doesn't actually say goodbye to everyone. I presume he would have done that off screen. However, he thanks Cisco for what he's done and, you know, he wouldn't have been the same person today if it wasn't for Cisco. So Wells actually leaves and, I mean, I hope that's not his final goodbye because I don't think it was, like, the best goodbye. It wasn't super emotional and I feel like we deserve, like, one more scene, surely. Sometime this season. I really hope so. But anyway, this is the point where Cisco reveals that he wants to leave Central City and Camilla is going to go with him. And this is going to lead towards what happens at the ending of the season. However, let's go to the cliffhanger of this episode. So you have Dion with the cool music. And so he's walking and he bumps into Speed Force Nora. And he's like, you're the lady that's after me, right? And he's like, you're not very intimidating. But everything changes as she puts up her hand and it starts vibrating. And she is about to attack him. So she says... I'm a reckoning or something along those lines and this is going to be like a big fight I'm not sure if Dion is gonna survive however team flash may come in for the rescue but we'll have to wait and see but that's gonna come next episode probably near the start because that was the cliffhanger of this week 
Okay, so that's about it for today's video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. I really enjoyed the episode. I thought it was really, really solid. Remember, I will have my Supergirl review for the mid-season finale later today, along with my Flash trailer breakdown for next week's episode, aka episode 10. So for now, click here to watch my latest video. And remember to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed, subscribe and turn on notifications if you're new, and I'll catch you guys later, goodbye. I see red.